the uh, mind that we have is a unique place. We have enough material for years and years and years and able to help generation after generation. It's in a location where we can get to it. We're in Utah, which is known as the mineral state, and I'm with Dave Taylor. Longevity gets all its raw materials for its plant-derived minerals from Dave. So Dave, why don't you kind of explain to us what we're looking here at the wall? This is a deposit of plant materials, big, rich, thick uh, brown band that's up there. That was a deciduous forest, and that's way cool stuff to really mess with because you can just open it up and just look at and see all the plants. When you go up and you hold the material in your hands, it almost reminds you of a tree because you can see each year's layer. You know, you imagine the nutrition you have in that. Well, I mean, you can just, the mineral just bites right out of it. The ones I like to talk about are mineral deficiencies because they make up two thirds of the essential nutrients. Our bodies cannot manufacture them. We must consume them every day, either as food or as supplements. What I'd like to see happen, where everybody around the world recognizes that nutrition is so important. So we've all heard about Dr. Wallach talk about minerals and we all know that they're important, but I'll always like to phrase it, they're kind of like cofactors. They help hundreds of thousands of different functions happen within your body. So the key thing is about taking our plant-derived minerals or products that have our plant-derived minerals, we can be assured that we're getting all 60 essential nutrients. When we talk about humic shale, people always think shale, well, isn't that rock? And I like to phrase it a different way. It's a million year old compost pile that has never had enough pressure on it to turn into coal. So it's still an organic plant material. If you took that much decomposed material and all the minerals and everything that are in it, I mean, how much would you have to eat in order to take and get that mineral content? When Doc had his practice in Portland, Oregon, he was having his patients taking 30 and 40 pills, you know, to get all his 90 essential nutrients. A bottle with calcium in it, here's a bottle with magnesium in it, here's a bottle with iron in it, and so you're gonna to have to have 60 different bottles. It was, un, you know, cumbersome. The humic shale saved us from having 60 different bottles. Everybody's gotta take the 90, and the core of that is the humic shale. Step one is obviously get the material here, and they bring the material out um, by mining techniques. And we take it down to the first processing facility. And so what we have here is an elevator that lifts the stones up and then puts it in the tanks so that we can start this process. It's as simple as that. And we put it in clean food grade tanks that are sterilized and we basically do osmosis. If you don't understand osmosis, it's like summer tea. We take a high concentration of the humic shale and we control the temperature, barometric pressure, and time, and we're able to leach the minerals out of the humic shale and the fulvic acid into purified water. From there, it gets put through uh, pasteurization and immediately packaged in food grade transport 55 gallon barrels. Talk about the testing processes you do with the product before it even leaves here. We take and we have it tested mold, salmonella, lyceria, and then we send samples to you. You guys pull your samples again and double check and make sure that everything's proper on your side. From there, we take it to our various manufacturers where they either dilute it to make the plant-derived minerals or we use the full concentration and we add more vitamins and minerals to make our various products. But the key, the base of everything is the plant-derived minerals. The more that we can stay with a natural product, I think the safer we are, and the better that we can put products together using natural components, the more effective we are at overcoming challenges.
We talk about 90 for life and everyone goes, well, how long do I have to take it? And my answer is always really easy. I go, how long do you have to breathe air? How long can you go without taking 90 essential nutrients? And that's what we're providing for you.